Hi, IASvideos.com is presenting you simplified daily current affairs analysis. The law must find ways to deal with online abuse of children. What is child abuse? Why there is a rise in child abuse nowadays? What measures need to be taken by the government and parents to stop child abuse? GS Paper 2 Mechanisms, laws, institutions and bodies constituted for the protection and betterment of vulnerable sections. In this video, you can find detailed answers for all the above questions. The above article has been retrieved from thehindu.com, dated September 17, 2018. What we are providing here is just a 10% sample out of the full-length video. Visit our website iasvideos.com to join the course and to unlock all videos. We offer this pendrive course cash on delivery on Amazon.in too. Amazon will deliver our course to your doorstep. What is the context about? Last week, Supreme Court Judge Justice Madan Lokur brought up an issue that often fails to get adequate notice. Unless things really get out of hand, the online abuse of children. He emphasized the need to look at violence against children in a larger context, going beyond physical violence to look at psychological violence inflicted through online sources. In the past two years or so, there has been a spate of incidents involving children and the darker side of the internet, be it pornography, cyberbullying or online games such as the Blue Whale Challenge or the latest deadly online game. The Momo Challenge. What is Child Abuse? Child abuse is any action by another person, adult or child, that causes significant harm to a child. It can be physical, sexual or emotional, but can just as often be about a lack of love, care and attention. We know that neglect, whatever form it takes, can be just as damaging to a child as physical abuse. What is child abuse? Child abuse is any action by another person, adult or a child, that causes significant harm to a child. It can be physical, sexual or emotional, but can just as often be about a lack of love, care and attention. We know that neglect, whatever form it takes, can be just as damaging to a child as physical abuse. Why there is a rise in child abuse nowadays? Some of the causes are Easy and unsupervised access to pornography on smartphones, computers and tablets. The internet and associated technologies have made abusive images of children easier to create and distribute and provide significant new opportunities for abusers to access and make contact with children and young people online. What measures need to be taken by the government and parents to stop child abuse? Laws and Institutions Laws and Acts such as the Protection of Children from Sexual Offences Act 2012 is initiated with the aim to reduce re-victimization of the exploited child, setting up fast-track special codes and support system. State commissions for protection of children from exploitation should also be set up to enhance the focus on the measures to be taken. Promoting Gender Equity Majority of the forms of exploitation happens with the female children in comparison to their male counterparts. The promotes the needs for gender sensitization right from school itself. Nukkad Nataks and media portraying the same, involving NGOs for a greater reach. Missing Children Tracking Initiating projects like Project MILAP by Delhi government as missing children mostly end up in being trafficked in sex trade child labor. Police verification. Ensuring police verification of school staff, carpool drivers should be done. Parents measure. Observe the child behavior to detect any early sign before a major incident. Should not overlook the licensing and other norms while hiring private cabs to commute their wards to school. Should frequently engage with school administration to ensure that guards and other staff members are properly checked for their background. Can use technologies 
like giving the award smart mobile with latitude and other apps to check their locations and to help child send SOS in case of trouble making their child aware to what is unreasonable contact